Hi guys, welcome back. So um, today's video is a little bit different than uh, my normal um, videos, but I've had a lot of people ask me about my altered composition books that are my junk journal, planner, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can pick these up, you know, during um, the back to school sales. You can get them for 50 cent a piece. Sometimes you can even get them for as cheap as 20 cents a piece. Um, the most that you should pay would be a dollar, maybe a dollar 25 if you get it from the Dollar Tree. Um, so they make a great, great, great little um, book. So I have a couple of different ones. Um, this one is one that I have just put the cover on. I haven't really done a lot to it. I haven't even done anything with the pages. I didn't tear any out. I haven't glued any together. This one is just a blank one that's ready for me to do something like that with. Um, this one is one that I'm actually been, it's more like my planner. It's got some um, stuff from, you know, um, a shout out from, this is from my granddaughter. Um, she wanted me to give a shout out to Addison Glosson, Helena Nichols, which is my granddaughter, Kylie Gunther, and Peyton Anderson. So there you go. There's that shout out. Um, so in here, I've just got some tags. I've got tags and pockets. I've got a large tag here. I've got some stuff here. You can see I've used this for like my planning. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I've used some of my altered paper clips, the upcoming craft fairs. Um, I've got like a little stencil in here. I've got another little card. I do have a tab in this one. That was some work notes there. Um, then I've got some more pockets, another tab. This is some of my YouTube stuff, some of my Bible study notes. Um, so I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I literally, I use this for all kinds of stuff. Um, this one, here's a tag. It's got some of the songs, two of the songs I love. Um, this is the two songs that are written here. I've got them on a big tag there. Um, in this particular journal, I made this pocket at the front and the back. And then I've got a pocket there. And you can see it's all warped and messed up because I use it. Um, this is another one. This one is I'm actually using for work. Um, so you see I have some stuff here. So this one is literally, I have, I do have a pocket here. I have a pocket here. I don't really have anything in it, but you can see I have like a lot of my work notes, um, that kind of stuff, the different, you know, stuff, the complaint analysis, consumer complaint, you know, so this is like my go-to book, um, whether something's legally sufficient, investigative reports you know so i've got a lot of stuff in here so that's two different kinds there and then there's this one um which is more like the junk journal style here um i covered it i've got this is out of a magazine i've just got some lace on it and then i put some rickrack on it um i do have a pocket on the inside here with some paper um, just some cutouts, and then on this one, I actually have washi tape on the edge of every um, sheet, and um, this is a card that Miss Gail sent to me, and then you can see I've just got some doodles and stuff in here. Um, this is out of a, um, what was it, a smocking magazine. I just cut it out and used it as um, a page topper. Right here, I actually messed up, and instead, I glued three pages together instead of two, so I was left with an extra page, and so I just folded it over, and I made a pocket. You know, I wasn't going to let it, you know, get me. Um, I've just got a few little cuts here and there. I've made some little lace tabs, 
Um, so this one is the one that I'm working on in December. I've got a pocket in here. This is another piece out of that magazine, another lace tab. Um, and so this one will end up being full in just a couple of weeks. And here's another one of the pockets. And then I've got that little, that was out of that same smocking magazine. Um, this is just some, you know, ephemera there. This is a little black lace tab that I've done. And that's another piece out of that um, magazine. And then this here is out of that magazine. And so I made it into a pocket. That was out of the magazine. And then these are some more pieces out of that magazine. And I just stuck them down in here so that I can use them in my journal. And then I've just covered the back. And you can see it's already getting chunky. And I pulled pages out before I even started doing this. Um, but that's the joy of it. So I'm going to show you. This may take a couple of videos. So what I always start out with is just a regular composition notebook. Like I said, you can get these for 50 cent, a dollar at most. That's all there is to it. Now, I normally pull um, a total of seven to 10 of the double pages out of my um, my composition book so because it will get really bulky. So that's what I want to show you, kind of how I start. And I have no rhyme or reason to it. I just open, and it's better if it's sewn. So I just open it up, and I just count some pages. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five. And so I'm going to tear this page right here out. Okay, so I tore that out, but I'm going to set that there so that I'll remember where I'm at. Now I'm going to go back here to the back, and I'm going to count five pages. One, two, three, four, five. So this one is the one that should be torn out. And you see it just pops right out. I'm going to set that to the up there. And now I'm going to count out some more pages. And I'll just count out another five, maybe one two, three, four, five, and then we'll tear this one. And because these pages are double, you know, they are folded, it's gonna tear the other side. So now I'm gonna leave that there so I'll know where I'm at. I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna move that sheet, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, Five. So this is my sheet that should be torn out. And look, it is. So let's count out some more. Let's do three. One, two, three. And then we'll tear this one. And again, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to move this one out of the way. So one, Two, three, and this one should be my torn one, and it is. So let me go ahead and do one, two, three, four. And again, there's no, you can tear out as many or as little as you want. Um, you just want to make sure that you do because you want to have, you want to have room to bulk your book up. Um, and as you can see, mine is already getting pretty bulky. Um, so just make sure that, you know, and you can remove more than what I'm moving. It doesn't matter. Um, I've just found that this is the number that works best for me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and tear these out because if I don't, I'll lose count and lose where I'm at. Okay. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stop right here so that I can, and I've got my placeholders in because I've already got one that I've torn all of the, pa the pages out that I need to. And so here's the one that I've already done. And because of the way that I've torn the pages, you really can't see, there's not a big, 
you know, there's not a big gap there. Um, that's why I would count pages and tear out. And so this is, um, I think, 18 single sheets. So I tore out nine um, of the double pages. Now, what you want to do, and I did not grab my glue stick. Let me see what I've done with it. I had brought a purple one in here so that you guys could see, but I think I left it laying over on the other side, and so I'm not going to stress. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to open your book. You're going to take this first page, and you're going to open it on up, and you want to go to your second page. And I use a glue stick for this. You can use um, wet glue, but it will warp the pages. And so I go ahead and I'm the first thing I do is I go along the edges because I want to make sure I get my edges good. And then I just kind of do like that. And now there will be people that will tell you all the different ways that, you know, to close it down. But let me show you my little cheat way. I just close my book. And that way I know that my page is lined up. So there's my double page. Now, you want to take this page here, flip it, and then you want to glue this page. Just like this. And so it's just like I did um, on the other one. And so I'm just gluing that and then closing it. Okay? So now I have my two double pages and so they're double thick because these pages are thin um so this is a good project to do like if you're just sitting down like watching tv or anything like that go ahead and prep your book now i have already got one that i have done that too and i went ahead and put some double-sided tape on my cover so in this book here you'll see all of my pages are the double pages so they're all already done. Um, it's right ready to go. And I normally have a couple of these just sitting there waiting just like this. And I don't go ahead and cover them because I don't know what I'm gonna want the next month. Um, so that's one reason why they're not covered, but I do go ahead and have the pages done and already have the pages glued down, that kind of stuff. So now, um, there's a couple of different ways that you can cover it, and I've already got some stuff cut out here. Um, one way that you can do it is you can take a little strip to begin with, and you can put a little strip here, and then line your, um, your pattern paper up. Um, but I think what I am going to do I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put my pattern paper on. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to do, go ahead and do my strip. So I might need to put some more of the strip down and then I'll do my um, pattern paper. So let me go ahead and I did not bring my little pokey tool over either. Goodness gracious, guys. I thought I was so prepared. I was feeling so proud of myself. But, you know, it wouldn't be a typical video of mine if I didn't have something not ready. So I'm just pulling off the, um, the back of this double-sided tape. I do like to use double-sided tape on this because I want to make sure that I get it good. You know, I want to make sure that it stays down. But I am also going to use some glue in addition to my tape. And let me show you what I'm gonna do. So, and I'm not gonna give measurements because typically these books are nine and three quarter inches high, but they're cheap books. They're not all going to be the exact same size. So just measure your book um, every time. So I'm gonna take my um, Fabri-Tac and I'm just gonna really put it on that cover good. So I want to make sure that I get it adhered down really good, even though I have my double-sided tape. Okay. And now I'm going to take this little strip here, and I think I cut this at two inches. So this one is two inches by nine and three quarters. And I told you I was not going to give you measurements, and I just did, but 
And my glasses are fogged up because you guys can probably hear the rain. And my son just had me go out and help him set a tent up in the rain. Ugh, it's so cold too. So I'm just going to line this right up against that, um, the black. And there we go. And so now I'm going to take that pattern cardstock here and I'm going to line it up. And if I have a little gap, that's fine because I'm going to put a little strip there. And then I'm just gonna do it just like that. And I didn't, I got it a little too far up, but it's okay, I am not stressing over it. All right, so now you can already see kind of how it's coming together. And so I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna fold this a little bit just like that because I want to go ahead and kind of get it the way that I want it to fold and like I said these books are generally not square they're not but you know for the price you pay I'm okay with that now um, I have my tape runner in here Let's see if I've got a tape, yeah. Because I'm gonna do this as well on this part. I think it's got tape in it, maybe. And I'm gonna get it right against that. So I'm just putting some of this tape down. And then I will also put some glue. Hopefully I'm not too close up or it's just how I'm having to record right now. So all right, so I've got that done and I'm just going to fold this over just like that. Okay. And look how cute that's already looking. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the back side. It's the same thing. And I apologize for the glare, and I'm sorry I keep shaking you guys, and I'm so sorry. I need to do something different with my recording until I can get back in the studio, but it is what it is for right now. I'm just trying to get the videos and trying to get back on track of and get back into the habit and um, of doing videos for you guys because you know things just got so crazy and I, I took a little break and didn't do that many videos and I feel so bad so I'm really trying to get back into it because I do enjoy doing the videos um, I have to say I enjoy reading all the comments. Even if I don't respond, I promise you, I read every single comment. Um, sometimes I just don't respond because I get, I've got so much going on. And then there are some comments that kind of get the best of me. And, but for the most part, it's all good. All right, so I'm just gonna line, again, I'm trying to line this up. Just like that and then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to attempt to do the same thing except I'm gonna try to get it straight you can see this book is not straight but it's okay look how cute I love it I think it's adorable and this is a paper pad. I believe I got this paper pad from Michaels. And this is one thing about these books. They are not straight, but it's just, um, you kind of deal with it. And I mean, it is kind of a junk journal planner, so I'm okay with it not being straight to a point because we can cover it up. We can, we can make it work. So I'm just gonna Put some tape down and I will show you how I cover that little spot that you can see in here we'll be covering that 
So again, I'm going to put glue. And I'm just, you know, I like to do the glue because I just, I don't know, y'all know I like to do overkill on this kind of stuff. I just want to make sure it's not going anywhere. All right, so now I just need to fold that over and close it down. And see, it's not even on this, but that's fine because we are going to be covering that. So now let me do this. Let me, I think I have some more of this paper. What did I do with it? I'm going to get, I think I want, hmm, I don't know if I want blue or green. Let me see. I think I want to go with the blue. So let's cut this at nine and three quarters. Or should I go? I'm just looking, guys. I'm thinking here. I think it might. That might be too much. So let's just do the blue. All right, so let me cut this piece at nine and three quarters. And I'm so sorry that I'm shaking y'all. And I hope it's not too bad, but. Okay, so I cut that at nine and three quarters. And then I just want that, um, I think I just want that strip to be about a half an inch. So I'm gonna cut two at a half an inch. Cause I think that's all I need. And I'm gonna set this out of the way for a minute. And then get this back. And then I'm just gonna use my glue for this. And I'm just going to glue this down. Ah, I didn't want to get it on the red. So I'm just going to put that strip right there to cover up where it um, doesn't meet exactly. And I'm going to do that on the back side as well. And you can cover up this black um, binding if you want to. I'm, I typically don't. Um, I don't know that I ever have covered it, to be quite honest with you. I think I've always just left it just like that. Okay, so now we've got that covered. And the next thing I want to do is I want to trim my corners. And I think my big corner chomper, I think it is still in the craft room. So we're gonna see if this will work. We are going to do it on the biggest one. Ah, it may not work. We got it. So I would probably suggest using your big chompy chompy. But guys, y'all know how I am. think that one got out of the way but it's fine I can trim it up later with my other corner chomper if I need to so let me try and get this one done and I know I'm shaking you guys I I know and I'm so sorry and it might would be better if I you know would wait and let my glue dry but gosh y'all know I'm not gonna do that Okay, last one for now. All right, so we've got our corners rounded. Now, I do think I want to put a tab in here, but normally when I do a tab, I do um, before I fold my pages, um, if I can. But, you know, I wasn't sure, you know, what the notebook was gonna be, what I was gonna use or anything. So that's why um, there is not, um, what on earth did I do with that blue piece? I need to recut that blue piece, that's for sure. 
that ain't gonna work. Okay, so I've got this here. So I am going to glue this down and I'm going to put some tape on it. And then I'll put some glue on it. So let's just do that. Now let's put some glue on it and try to get it glued down halfway straight. I don't know what I done cutting that blue piece. I cut that joker wrong. I can't blame that on the book being missized. That's what that was all user error, guys. That was all me. Make sure I get my edges good. Okay, so now I am going to attempt. And I don't want it to go all the way to my spine because we'll have problems closing it if we let it go all the way to the spine. And so I'm just making sure I... Ugh. Let me grab another blue sheet and cut it because somebody cut that wonky, wonky, wonky. I don't know who it was. We're not going to call any names or call them out on that. So this is the paper pad that I'm using for this. It's countryside. I don't know. I don't have a clue. So let's get another blue one since somebody messed that one up. And let's cut it. So I'm going to cut it at nine and three quarters. And then I think I need it at like seven and a quarter or something. Yeah. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this one on the back side of here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do my tape. And I'm just I'm just putting some tape on there. I don't really Okay, and now let's glue it. And I am just using Fabri Tac. I like to use my Fabri Tac on this because it doesn't warp my pages and it doesn't make my pages wet. Um, I love my art glitter glue and my Barely Arts glue, but they typically um, warp my pages a little more and make them feel a little damp. And I just don't, and it's fine, but I just don't want to deal with it. So that's why I'm just using my fabric tack And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did. I'm just going to line it up and glue that down. And so now I have a tab page in here and I'll put a tab um, on that. Okay, and so now let's go and I, I'm just kept, you know, I don't even know how many pages I've done in between it. I just, you know, went a few pages and then um, done it. And so now we need to do the same thing to this one. And you can put as many tabs in there if you want, that you want to. You don't have to put any in there because you see mine and some of them have the tab dividers. Some of them do not. Some of them have the pockets where I folded pages down. Um, it just, honestly, it all depends on what mood I'm in when I go to make the journal for that month. And I normally do one each month because um, I have found that that's why I never could like keep my journals up to date was whenever I would try to use the same journal um, for, you know, a couple months or God forbid a year. Um, I don't know if it's my ADHD or what, but it just, it, it didn't work. It just wasn't happening. 
And so I found that by doing this, I tend to use my journal. Um, I journal what I'm supposed to. I use it for um, my list. I use it for my um, planner. I use it for like my bullet journal type thing because I, I do like to do the bullet journal um, part of it. And so this is just, this has been the best way for me. Um, one day I'll show you all of my journals like this that I have. Um, because when I get done with them, I typically put them away. I store them. Um, I don't use that whole thing to tape. Because I like to go back and look at them. And then the other thing with me doubling the paper like I did, um, I like to do watercolor um, on some of it. I know, I don't know if you guys have ever even seen it. I do, I love to paint. I do not show it much. And all of my paintings, my husband normally confiscates because he loves them. Um, but I do like to paint. And so sometimes I will paint in my journals. And so with my pages being doubled, I am able to do that without it um, messing my pages up. Okay, so now if these um, being longer than the book bother you because I cut them a little, um, I cut them a little longer than um, what the page was, but I done that on purpose because I can go back and I can trim them up, but I'm probably not going to. Um, so now we have this little spot right here. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a pocket in here. And so it'll cover that up and it will give me that pocket. Um, now you can do a pocket several different ways. You can do the pocket like I'm doing here. Um, you can do a pocket across the bottom. Um, you don't have to do a pocket. You know, you can do it however you want to do it. Um, I just do it, depending on how I do my journal cover, depends on how I do my pocket. So when I use that strip, this is normally how I do my pocket. Y'all see how straight I glue? Woo! I am good at that. And I'm not even putting a thumb pull in it. I'm okay with it not having one. And so there's that. And then let's put one back here in the back as well, which it really doesn't need one, but I do like to have that pocket. So we're gonna go ahead and put one in it. And especially since I already got it cut. So we're just gonna put that, our little thin bead of glue. And this is a Sugar Bell bottle. I've had people ask about that. Um, I know Miss Edith and them sell these at Scrapbooking With Me. And these are wonderful for um, your glue. It helps you get a little thin line. Okay, so there's that. And then we have, um, we can even put some pockets on here. Let's do that. So let me get my scoreboard. Let me score some of these. Do I have my scoreboard? Yes, I do. Okay. Let me grab, grab my score tool here. All right. And so what I am going to do is I am going to score um, a half an inch on three sides. So half an inch. And then I'm just gonna flip it because I don't even know how long this is. Half an inch, and then half an inch. So that's gonna give me a pocket, a good size pocket. So that's what that's going to do. So let's do the same thing here. We're going to do a half an inch. half an inch and then half an inch 
And that's just so that I have a little bit of wiggle room in my pocket there. And then put this on here. Where's my scissors? I just have my scissors, guys. <sighs> Lord help me. There they are. It's always something with me. Y'all know that. Y'all should be used to this. My big ones are in the box over there, and I'm just not. I'm too lazy. Way too lazy to get them. So I just cut a little... I don't know, I call it miter in the corner because that's how I know it, like in carpentry and stuff. So I don't know what the technical term is called, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just cutting the edges off like that. And then I um, really don't want to pull, so I'm just going to do like a little tiny spot right there just so that you can see. And now when you're doing pockets, you want to use um, glue to put these down. You don't want to use tape because your tape does not dry or, you know, it not like glue. And so it'll always be kind of tacky. Um, oh, great. That just went into a thing of water so we can't use the green one. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's cut a strip to go here. We can make that a pocket, though. Do I want to do that? But I have this. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. I messed the green one up, so we can't use the green one right now. Which, it's fine. We will use something else. So I'm just gluing this down, this. It's a nice deep pocket there. And I know this video is longer than I normally do. So probably what I will do is put the, um, I'll probably go ahead and end the video so that I can get some more of my stuff together. And then we will come back tomorrow and um, I'll show you how I finish decorating this, how I do the front. Um, I'll probably put some lace on the pages and maybe even do the washi tape. So we will um, finish this up in tomorrow's video. But that's the start of it, guys. So, um, you know, get you a composition book, get you some scrap paper, um, and get started making your own junk journal planner. These are super fun. So I will see you tomorrow, and we'll get this finished up. Bye, guys.